Greetings, adventurers. Magellan Linden here. I've been told that I need to train you on how Paleo Quest works. Since not everyone is a natural explorer with the ability to cheat death the way I am. I promise I'll make this quick as it is eating into my workout time. I'm scheduled for multiple reps of the 12 ounce girl, if you know what I mean. Anyway, here's how it works. Paleo Quest is divided into six areas. The main area is the visitor center where you first arrive. It is your home base. There are payout stations for lending dollars and prizes in the main building, social areas, and platforms for the monorail. The remaining five areas each contain the individual quests. Each area has two parts. First is the primary quest, where there is a task to complete in order to stop Dr. Talpa. Then there are also the secondary quests to collect common and rare items for me. These can be redeemed at the visitor center for fabulous rewards. All right, next. You will notice that there is a HUD on your screen. You must wear it at all times while in the park. It will show your status as well as offer valuable information. It also allows me to contact you as I monitor your progress. Some animation overrides can interfere with the HUD or other items in the park, such as the zip wires. So I recommend detaching them before you proceed. The green icons along the top of your HUD are your quest status indicators. These will light up as you complete each main quest. Below those are the counters for collection quests. Each region has a different item to collect. There are common blue items and pink rare items. Totals for common items are shown in the lower left quadrant of the HUD, colored in blue. And rare items totals are displayed in the lower right quadrant, colored in pink. Got it? Good. In the center of the HUD is a help button. You can touch it for a note card explaining all the rules and how the HUD works. Well, I don't know why you'd need it for that since I'm telling you all this right now. Anyway, the HUD can be minimized by touching the outer ring. Touching it again brings it back to full size. Notice the information display does not change. If you get tired of my voice, as if that would ever happen, you can mute the audio notifications. Although I don't know why anybody would want to do that. Anyway, that's the basics of the HUD. Now, how to play. This part is pretty simple. The monorail is your basic mode of transportation throughout the entire park. It seats five, and they run constantly through all six areas, starting and ending at the visitor center with stops in each area. Now, keep in mind you must complete the primary quest in succession. You cannot skip one and go on to the next quest. However, once you have completed a quest, you can return to that area to collect common and rare items for the secondary quests. Primary quest can be done once a week for lending dollars or a prize. Secondary collection quest can be done until you reach the daily maximum payout. Now for the warnings. Warnings are important. You'll want to pay attention for this part. Yes, I'm talking to you. Stop coming around that pretty little thing at the prize display and focus for a minute. You back with us now? Alrighty then. Moving on. There are many perils you will encounter as you explore the bar. Many of these can result in serious death. Any good explorer can tell you that running around all willy-nilly is the fastest way to become an ex-explorer. Electrified fences, fallen rocks, flesh-eating plants, quicksand, and caustic water from volcanic activity are but a few of the obstacles you will run into in the park. Not to mention the genetically modified dinosaurs. Even though I guess I did just mention them. Hmm. Anyway, these will result in your untimely demise and can have the undesirable effect of losing all of your collected items. So watch your step. Also, watch out for the petro petri pterinoid pterodactyl proto modu, the flying dinosaurs. They are attracted by fast movement. Move too fast and they will swoop down on you. They are mean little suckers and will knock you right out of the park. They also smell pretty bad. Terrible hygiene. Best to avoid them altogether if you can.
All right. Think you got all that? Hope so, because the last thing anybody wants to hear is that why the explorer belly aching about how oh, this is so hard. They didn't tell me it was going to be hard. Now, go out there and get me, I mean, yourself some stuff. Oh, and uh, save the grid. Yeah, I guess that's kind of important. So, how'd I do? Are we done here? Because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Call me if you need me. You know where I'll be.